The mother of an Indiana Marine killed in the withdrawal from Afghanistan is keeping her son's memory alive tonight. It's been three years now since a suicide bomber killed Corporal Humberto Sanchez and a dozen other U.S. military service members. CBS4's Michael Van Skoik went to Logansport today to see how he's being remembered. It's been three years since Corporal Humberto Sanchez was killed in Afghanistan, and here in Logansport, his grave has almost become a little bit of a local memorial, now covered with flags, flowers, and other reminders of his service and sacrifice. Coral Doolittle still remembers losing her son, Bert. What sometimes feels like a distant memory comes rushing right back on dates like this, August 26, 2024. But then when, when I click, it's just like, I remember that day when they knock on the door. I remember when, when we went to Dover and pick up the body. I remember when we were here to put them to rest. Corporal Sanchez was one of 13 American military service members killed in the final days of the U.S. pullout from Afghanistan in 2021. His mother says the past three years have had their ups and their downs. The pain is really, really fresh and I, I don't think it's never going to go away. It's just we're just going to learn how to live a daily life with the pain and the um, the sadness of not having him around. Doolittle says Bert's loss has been equally as hard on those who served alongside him. And some of them, they actually have the guilt. Why him and not me? Three years later, Doolittle says she still feels her community's support. This past weekend, hundreds gathered for a memorial motorcycle ride through Logansport. As Doolittle and many others still grieve, she says it's not just those troops who don't come home who need support and remembrance. Never forget the ones that pay the ultimate sacrifice, but also never forget that all the veterans that are around us, they need us. In Logansport, Michael Van Skoik, CBS 4 News.